Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot, everyone. I'm here to do your daily energy read for today, January 16th, 2020. Daily energy read for Fifth Element Tarot as a collective. All right, guys. Yesterday's reading was a bit much. I haven't gotten to replying to comments, but I will. <laughs> Um, so let me tell you that tapping into today's energy, I got words like building, structure, guidance. And then I was piped, uh, I believe it's an LMA song. I love LMA, but my guys like really love LMA. They use her songs all the time. Okay, so, um, but it was, I'm sorry about that. I got a call, but I don't know the name of the song, but the lyrics, uh, they only play this part of the song and they kept looping it like I, it, it, it's all that played the lyrics are you show you show me you are down maybe I'll stick around this could be something special for us so they kept playing it kept kept playing it now I got excited but then I cautioned Sedian because of yesterday's reading and I feel intuitively that in some way they are linked but Good news is that I was flash cards to give me kind of an overall um, energy of what this is going to be about. And so overall, the energy is about six of pentacles energy, reciprocity, equal give and take balance. And then I was flashed um, five of, of, of pentacles left out in the cold, two of swords, stalemate, failure to communicate, ace of swords, truth, clarity and victory. Seven of Swords, funky stuff behind somebody's back. And then the my player card, the Knight of Wands. And then the Fool. So all together, somebody left out in the cold. There's no communication, but there's truth, clarity, and victory about that. And about sneaky crud that's gone on behind the back with this player. And needing to take a leap of faith. So maybe crazily, stupidly, I'm encouraged. So let's go ahead and jump in. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for my Fifth Element Tarot family for January 16th, 2020. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. So you see my deck out, my beautiful mystical shaman oracle deck. I was told that I would get an overall read on the energy from this deck. Now, you know, every day we don't get in our dailies the overall read on the energy. So this is good. Let's go. What do we have for an overall? And I'm going to read from the book, The Invitations, Essence, Invitation, and Medicine, before we even get started is what they said. So whew, let's go. What do we have for overall read on the energy for today from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck? One card for overall read on the energy. One card, please. Well, let's see what it is, guys. <laughs> Unknown. Fire. Yes. Someone is listening, I just heard. Yes. Card number 19. 19 reduces to a 10. Tens are all about endings of cycles. Fire, you see it. Look at the card. It's all about transformation. It's all about burning away those things that are no longer useful to transform your life. So I'll read from the book for fire. Part number 19. All right. The essence. Fire consumes anything that it touches. The flames remind us of the impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or chaos. Fire is passion and its dancing flames invite us to reach to the sky. Warmth and light are heavenly, yet too much heat can scorch us. Too full... To fully step into the energy of fire, it is 
is to be utterly transformed like the phoenix rising from the ashes. The invitation, warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain and your sorrow. Has life become too rigid, too cold, too superficial? Light a candle or make a bonfire and toss into the flames everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation. Set your life on fire. The medicine. Are you feeling too fiery? Have you been reactive and short-tempered towards others? This card has come to tell you that all fiery emotions directed at others can backfire at you. And I hear my grandmother, you dig one ditch, you better dig two. The trap you set just may be for you. So I'll read that again. This card has come to tell you that all fiery emotions directed at others can backfire at you. It is not a good idea to play with fire when you're out of balance or angry. Now is not the time to act or react. It is time to tame and befriend your inner fire so it does not scorch you. Hmm. Well, well, let's get us some cards, family. Yesterday was about cause and effect. Today is a warning about transforming and burning away and getting to a calm place where you are not moving from anger. Because when you move from anger, you scorch yourself. Okay? So fire is here. And where am I going? I'm going to go to... Um, this uh my favorite for you too. So the um, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. I always have like such difficulty remembering the names of these decks. Probably because I've used them for years and <laughs> never announced the names. So now that I do, it's... It doesn't come like naturally. It's something I have to remember to do. It's something they remind me to do. So what's the message for today about fire? About the transformative nature of fire and the ability to scorch or burn. Thank you. Throat chakra, a speaking of a truth. Yesterday, I think it, it was with fulfillment of wishes yesterday that I said when I was uh, channeling, I said somebody has some issues with their throat. Because I believe this person, thank you, makes up like they get real pretty for the outside world, like real pretty. But they hold a lot of things inside and the things that they hold inside are not nice ones okay so a needing to transform first card out is the throat chakra card number five fives are about conflict and change vishuddha is the sanskrit word for the throat chakra it is the fifth chakra color is blue located at your throat the affirmation that i mostly use is i am truth Second card out, truth leads to fulfillment of wishes. Card number nine, nines are about growth and expansion. Then falling out on the feminine side of the floor, uh, table, intuition. Card number two, twos are about partnerships and alliances. Some sort of intuitive knowing about fire. Last card. Unknown, the only unknown card that comes. Yep, emotional loss, walking away. Uh, actually, I feel walking away, but it is um, Five of Cups energy. So sadness, loss. But look how it lines up. Your fulfillment of wishes is all attached to this emotional loss. Ha. Huh. 
And at the bottom of the deck, we have our shadow card. Yes, a time to grow, a time to acclimate dark and light, a time to blend, a time to work on your shadow side is the base of our reading today. And to burn away these ineffective way of doing things, these hurtful thoughts, damaging behavior, damaging to who? Your soul, you, ultimately you. Yeah, you're angry, that's okay. As long as you can receive this message, I'm fine and you'll be fine. You have an intuitive knowing about everything that this message is going to cover, about needing to walk away, basically, to get your wish fulfillment, about needing, you could, I mean, everybody that's been following knows the truth. Maybe you haven't spoken the truth to yourself is what I feel. So we'll use, um, I'm directed at Kipper, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Heavy hitting, okay? So, um, yeah, this is, this is the second day I've been directed to Kipper to start clarifications. And it, I think I said it yesterday. It's because um, this person runs from the message. So, hit hard so the message is clear and you can't run from it. It's called conviction. So, why is the throat chakra here? Tell the story about... The throat chakra. Why is it here? Why is the throat chakra here? Thank you. Coming out on the feminine side of the table. Like I tell no lies. Look. And then the coffin flipping over in the deck. I have one card before it on feminine energy. Anything else? Thank you. And again, feminine energy. Uh, okay. So, coffin comes out second. Card number 19, again, an ending. 19 breaks to a 10, cyclical endings. On feminine side, unknown. Yep. Letting go. It was not a wealthy situation to begin with. Sudden wealth in reverse. Then we have letting go of this unhealthy situation is a high honor. Card number seven. Seven is a God number about the journey to your God self. This sudden wealth card in reverse, it's 11. It's a master builder. So you're at a stage now where you can take all of this energy and transform your life and build on solid ground. So sudden wealth, okay, it wasn't what you thought it was. You need to put an end to it to get high honor and realize that it was not a gift. 17 in the reverse. 17 reduces to an eight. Eights are about movement and abundance. So, yes, this is a truth you need to speak to yourself. Tell no lies. Anything else about the throat chakra? Last pass, thank you, about the throat chakra. Yep, and that's our last card. And it falls on gift in reverse. Unknown. Stop working okay cease working stop working that's what that means occupation in reverse card number 34 seven again your god journey seven seven a completion a movement and a master builder phase in reverse it's what you need to speak to yourself and yes, you need to speak it out loud because you've denied it too long. Think of this. If we bury something deep inside of ourselves, something that is um, doesn't feel good, um, is not a good experience, causes us hurt and harm emotionally, and we stuff it down, on the inside and we bury it deep. Those things fester. Those things 
may seem hidden, but they are intricately woven in everything you do from that point on. It becomes a part of you, a not so attractive, hidden part of you. So yes, speak it loud. You have an intuitive knowing about this, about needing to let this go to get to your fulfillment of wishes. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe if you have a peek into what fulfillment of wishes looks like for you, it'll give you excitement about releasing this last phase, this, this phase that you're clinging to. Why is fulfillment of wishes here? Tell the story, staying with Kipper, for fulfillment of wishes, please. Tell this, thank you. Yep, yep. Reversal of moving past this wealthy man, but you're still challenged to have in high honor in your home, okay? Wealthy man in reverse comes out first. Challenge of a high honor. And when I say home, this, this house is your soul, okay? You're hurt. I get it. But you continue to allow this hurt to fester. And that's causing further hurt deep on the inside. Let's get some fulfillment of wishes for you. Thank you. And as I say that, this will be our last card to cl clarify. Coming out central to the issue, unknown, face down. Now, right now, quickly, in the near future, very, very near future is what the family room represents. Close proximity. Card number 21, reducing 2A3. Threes are about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Hmm. Twos, 20 on the house is about partnerships and alliances. Hmm. Yes, there's emotional loss here. Let's look at this shadow activity. Now, let's go a little further at the bottom of the deck. Once you deal with this shadow activity, card number 18, reducing to a nine. Nines again are about growth and expansion. This shadow work leads to a happy home, a happy life, foundation and achievements strength in your solar plexus, moving past this feeling of being trapped in fear, feeling like there's no way out, but the answer is right in front of you. A opening up of your heart chakra, pouring all that love into you, patiently planning, building you, for this disruption, okay? Because you gotta build up your strength to get to this point. But it's about first working on your shadow side. Once you do this, what you know you need to do, balance comes in immediately, immediately. So, choose wisely. About this mental conflict, about being in two minds about something you know to what should be done with. Uh, you know it. There's an intuitive knowing. So you can get your victory and success. Patience. Patience. For this new beginning. And when I said I was hopeful, maybe foolishly hopeful, this is why. The star card is here. Hope is here. Being on your path is here. And it's a triumphant success. Don't trick yourself into thinking that you can't do it because you've been hurt. I could go on all day. And I mean all day. This message is clear. I need you to get it.
Let's see why the shadow is here. Tell the story of the shadow. Why is it here? Why is shadow here? Yep. Oh, come on. You don't want to do the work. You have to. Yes, you have to. Steel resistance. Thank you. So I got distant horizons and a challenge. This is two to six months. We got this yesterday. No, ma'am, that's too long to be in this energy. The damage that you do to your soul in this energy for an additional two to six months is, I just heard, irreparable. Wow. Okay? Think about it. Unknown as a challenge. Message of concern. Still wanting to reach out. <sighs> Unknown. About a change. Unknown. Nearby. Don't. Who you want to. Just change. Just work on yourself. You don't have to notify anybody of it. You don't have to do that. This challenge of doing it now, because this is an urgency for you to do it now. Every day, we're picking up, up on the same energy. God only takes drastic steps to get our attention when we continue to ignore the urgings, the messages, the intuitive knowings, the nudges. They get stronger and stronger and stronger until those nudges become a push and those pushes become shoves. And I don't want that for you. Your angels don't want that for you. They wouldn't spend so much time getting this message through. Stop before you scorch yourself. I'll get us a card of advice. Look at the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. Bad health. Card number 31 reducing to a four. Fours are about foundation. A foundation of bad health. Poor thought patterns. Poor rationale when it comes to stuff like this. And an ability to let go. One card of advice for navigating the energy in this spread for my fifth element to those family members in this energy. One card from my Sandara Fonz. Reawakening the soul deck. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this spread. And our card is out. Unknown, face down, peace, yes, please, please, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, release a spirit of peace. I'll read from the book for peace. Because the person that's operating, person, people, operating in this energy has had a lot of loss, a lot of hurt in their lives. And they've learned to operate like this. They've become comfortable in operating like this. Don't judge. Send healing vibes. Because when you know better, you do better. When you understand that the things that you do to others are ultimately done to yourself and you cause harm to yourself, then you change the way you do things. You see how I turned this over? I didn't do this intentionally. I turned it over because there's no peace currently. Because you need to transform to get to a place of peace. It's face down. I just noticed that. 
reading from the book for peace, experience all encompassing serenity by completely embracing God's love. Peace on earth begins with peace within. And this person has no peace within. I'm praying for peace. Card message. You, excuse me, your core essence is peace. Your soul is the perfection of peace. When you know and understand this truth, you begin to bring this energy into your awareness every day and live in peace. Quiet your mind and offer your devotion to God. Know that you are perfect and loved exactly as you are in this moment. Trials and all, flaws and all. Feel the unconditional love pouring into your heart from spirit. Remain in this positive and peaceful state, please. Make a conscious effort to hold on to this feeling and carry it with you throughout the day. This deep peace and sense of trust will be your anchor during your daily life experiences. Yes, Lord, please. And we had anchor imagery in yesterday's reading. Your soul, my child, holds the essence of peace. You've buried it deeply. Uncover it, please. It's there. Introspection. Do I feel peace throughout my daily activities? How can I bring more peace into my life? How would it feel to live every moment in the consciousness of peace? Affirmation. The spirit that I am consists of love and peace. Absolutely. The spirit that I am consists of love and peace. Say it with me. The spirit that I am consists of love and peace. May peace abide abundantly with you. I hope this message was helpful, family. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. I'm drawn. They draw my attention to the fact that there are two nines. The base is a nine. Wish fulfillment is a nine. And two fives. So double um, growth and expansion of yourself, your inner self, and double change and conflict energy. So I hope this message was helpful. Until tomorrow, guys, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.